Why, hello, and thank you for tuning in to Medicating with Sound. What's going on, y'all? I've got a dab already ready, ready to... Oh, there's a hair in it. That's what happens when you have a kitty. You get hairs in your dabs. Oh, looky there. It's kind of waxy. Can you see that? And, um, oh, I got a new toy that I wanted to show you. Well, you know, these things could be called toys, but they could be called tools in some circles. What I got is a titanium dome. Check it out. See right there? Bam. Titanium dome. But I'm holding it weird because it's got a lid on it. So it's kind of like a carb cap. So what you do, you blast your nail, you put it on, you take your hit, and then, oops, then, then, and then, you know, breath out. So uh, I'll, let's go ahead and try. And I'll show you, see how good it works. All right. All right. So we got something up. We got something up for today. Um, we got something from Treats. Trytreats.com. Trytreats.com is a international stoner snack item box that you come in the mail. Well, I don't really know if it's a stoner snack items, but I, I, I'm going to consider them a stoner snack item. Okay, so here we go. Cheers, big ears. Whoa! <coughs> work, little desk fan work. <coughs> oh, Smokey the fan did. <coughs> oh, <laughs> okay, that did me some good. Whoa! Well, the <coughs> first thing I wanted to say that I noticed about this box was that how it like reminded me of like old-fashioned packaging. Cause look, they wrapped it in brown paper. It's like, <coughs> I don't know, you don't get stuff like that anymore. Usually it's a, like a box inside of a box. <coughs> it's like gift wrapped. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> it's like stony Christmas. <coughs> okay, treats. Explore the world through food. <clears throat> oh, oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, from Brazil. Greetings from Brazil. All right. This month's treats come to us from Brazil. Oh, look at the little seal. Wow. <coughs> very executive. Or very, uh, uh, Wow! <laughs> wow! Whoa! Look at all this stuff! Okay, let's get into this. And I've got the list this time. <clears throat> so, let's start. <clears throat> no idea how to pronounce this, but Sweet Granny Popcorn is what this is. And it's uh, the most famous sweet popcorn in Brazil. I guess they must have a lot of sweet popcorns in this is the most famous of them all. That's popcorn? I don't understand why that... Those do not look like any popcorn that I've ever seen before. Should I be scared? I don't know. I don't think they're going to send me something that's not food. Um, they remind me of a cereal, but they're kind of hard. Um, they're okay. 
Um, the texture's kind of weird. It reminds me of a one of those cereals. The cereal with the little with the little brown bear with the blue shirt. I don't remember what that one's called. Okay, moving on. Ooh, bonbons. Candies covered in chocolate. Candies. So it's very vague. Candy covered in chocolate. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Well, yes, it's definitely a candy covered in chocolate. Okay. It's like, I don't know, whipped sugar, kind of. Um, yeah. They're okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm accustomed to American candy? Mm, I don't know. Moving on! Banana, nana, hana. Banana, hana, hana. Banana, hana. Banana, hana, 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 hana. But hana 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 hana. Candy is made from a banana, and it's made with all natural ingredients, contains no preservatives, and is safe for vegans to eat. Really? I'm. I, I usually think that if a candy is good for you, it's not gonna taste good. And this is vegan, and. I don't know, it kind of looks like something a vegan would eat. Like a bar of just stuff. It's not quite a gummy bear. Consistency. Um, it doesn't really taste like banana. Um... Um, it's, ugh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Now, this one is very strangely wrapped. It looks like, I don't know, when you get like a t-shirt or something, or, you know, and it's all wrapped up. How do they, how do, where do these go? Like, in the candy store, do they just, it looks like there's a hanger on it. It just, the packaging just doesn't seem like, uh, it, it lends to, uh, being marketable, you know? The packaging is, but here we are, uh, it's an Easter egg by Garotto. It's a giant Easter egg with a shell made of chocolate and pieces of cashews, and it's stuffed with something. Okay, so it's like this sticker, and then there's this yarn. Well, it's not really yarn; it's more like cording. Okay, so there goes the hook. There goes the little hooky. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. It's an Easter egg. Okay, and there's a little cup in the bottom. Maybe that's just to help it. But it's an Easter egg. Wow, this is a big piece of chocolate but it's not solid it's I'm, it's hollow I'm, I'm pretty sure it said it was filled with something this is a big old piece of Easter egg chocolate thing and what is it with eggs and chocolate anyways oh look at broken transit oh oh but that's okay because there's something in there I want to see what it is chocolate and cashews and then, and then, that's on the inside. So a chocolate and cashew egg. But was it, what is this? Oh, it's a bonbon. It's a love bonbon, I guess. Well, let's see what this love bon is, see what this is all about. Oh, it's the same as the last one. 
kind of crunchy inside. Yeah, I'm. Um, it's kind of, kind of like a tw uh, Kit Kat almost, like a, except thinner and harder. Kit Kat's a little bit more uh, um, wafier, wafier, wafier. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was a uh, okay. The egg was good. Chokito! Chokitos! Chokito! Oh, don't forget your Chokito! Could you imagine if Chokitos was like the Mentos? Chokitos! Oh, Chokito! Chokito! Ha <laughs> ha! Chokitos! 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 <laughs> Chokitos! 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 Okay, so, alright, I know that. Chokitos. <laughs> <clears throat> Milk chocolate bar with an outer layer of chocolate covering a layer of crunchy rice crisps in a chewy caramel fudge center. Alright, this sounds a little more American. Yeah, it is kind of American. Kinda. If it was American, it would be this big, though. Okay. That's good. Chokito. Prestigio. Oh, prestigio. <laughs> I'm not going to start again. Prestigio is chocolate bars filled with coconut. The chocolate is creamy, and the coconut filling isn't too sweet. And it's made by Nestle. Yeah. Tastes like a, uh, what's that American candy? It's chocolate and coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Um, enjoys that nut. Mounds, don't. Like mounds. See, I know it from the song. That, that's pretty good marketing, huh? Yokitos, Yokitos. Why does everything sound the same? Well, I guess ours here in America all sound the same. Doritos, Tostitos, uh, Fritos. I guess they all sound the same too. So why wouldn't they over there? Anyways, Yokito, Yokitos, Yokitos. Let's see, what are Yokitos? Oh, no, Yokito. Oh, how about Yokito? Okay, Yokitos, okay. Means ham in Portuguese. Ham flavored corn chips in the shape of a shell. Ham flavored corn chips in the shape of a shell. Yokitos. Okay, if you, whoa, if you guys say people like this then I'll try it they're like a uh, little little half they're like little half little circles little half ball I guess yeah it's ham flavor and it's real smoky smoky ham and corn and they're they're good um but again all the American snacks the the flavors just punch you in the mouth these are all kind of subtle, no subtle tasting. That the chips were very subtle tasting, but still good. Not like a, not like American, American snacks when you get them. Okay, what do we got this? Agua the, agua, isal, agua isal, the water chip, water crackers. I don't know. I was right. Water crackers. Salt and water biscuits have been around since 1885. Oh, they're creamier and crunchier than ever. So, some saltines, basically, is what I think this is. Just straight crackers, man. Oh, look, they're like golden brown. They're, they're, uh, oh, they're a lot more hearty than, uh, like, say, the American, uh, saltines. 
Mmm, very buttery. Yeah, uh, just the equivalent of American um, saltine. But um, it has a little bit different taste, just a teeny bit, a little kind of buttery. Mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm good. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and I went to a birthday party and uh, they did a party, a game, where you were supposed to put um, three or four saltines in your mouth and the first one to whistle wins. And I remember I won. I was the first one to whistle and I won something at this little party when I was a kid. <laughs> These are good. Pasatempo? Tem pasa What's Pasatempo? Our cookies with a milk chocolate filling. Oh, I forgot to do my DJ voice. Our cookies in a milk chocolate filling. Each cookie is engraved with a photo of an animal mascot. What? Each one is engraved? You mean they have an engraver for cookies? See, I would have thought they would have just baked them in a shape that they wanted, but they take it an extra step here at Pasa Temple. They actually have a cookie engraver. It's proprietary. It's not something you see every day. Oh, you know what it is? It's reverse Oreos. And it, they are printed. It's like they're printed. They're not. Oh! You know, I, I was talking smack, but I kind of think they actually are engraved. <laughs> you know that, that they, they're actually here. I think they're burnt. I think they they laser engrave them or something, because it looks burnt, and I can I can just barely feel it. All right, so I think maybe they are engraved. So it they're basically reverse Oreos. It's kind of like a shortbread cookie with a little blabba chocolate in the middle, and I think they're actually engraved <laughs> well it looks like that's it oh no look what do we got here batten branco well i guess it's white chocolate in the shape of a cylinder that's how they described it i like white chocolate i was thinking they were like hard candies it's a stick of white chocolate they should have put that in like a chapstick container <laughs> yep just real creamy White chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good too. And I guess this concludes the treat box. And if you think you'd like to get your own treat box, you can go to mytreats.com or you can um, click a link in the description area to go to mytreats.com and procure one for yourself. Um, I think it's well worth it what they charge. Out of, out of all the stuff you got. And this was all from Brazil this uh, this month. So, and sometimes it's kind of fun to spread it out and only do, like, say, one a day. And that way it spreads out for a longer time. And by the time you're almost done with this one, the next one comes in. Because it's going to take me a long time to eat this chocolate egg with all these other chocolate bars. Thank you guys for sending out the package. I totally enjoyed it. And that's all I got. Peace the fuck out, Charles. Leave. Chokitos.